Alright, so this is sine rule. This time we're going to be finding an unknown angle. Notice that it says part 1 up here. The reason it says part 1 is because finding unknown angles is not as easy as you would think it would be. It's a very strange thing happens. But in this video, nothing strange is going to happen. It's going to be really straightforward. So there's our question. I have managed to sneak in something just a little tricky, but we'll look at that. Label it up. A, B, C. And the lengths here go with our opposites, right? So this is length A, this is length B, and this is length C. Okay, now, the thing that we want to know is this thing right here. Let's pay attention, though, to the things that we know, the things that we actually know. We know that the capital B is equal to 150 degrees. We know that the lowercase b is equal to 12. And we know that the lowercase c is equal to 7. Wait a minute. And we want to know a. That's the thing that we don't know. That's, that's going to be theta. It feels like a weird mix, right? Because we need two b's, which we have, and we need two of the same letter to be able to calculate things. But, remember what we've said about angles. If you know two angles, you know three angles. So because we've been given this length of C, C equals 7, the angle that I should really try to find, first off, is this angle right here, is angle C. Because if I find angle C, and I can find that because I've got this length here, then I will then be able to find this angle. So a little trick here in this question, again, we're sort of playing with the idea that if you know two angles, you know three angles. Okay, so with all that out of the way, let's get started on this. So we need to do the length, so lowercase b over sine b equals, and the other one that we choose is this c, right? Because we know that c equals seven, so we can put that into an equation. We'll worry about this act, the thing that we actually want to know, we'll worry about that at the very end. So, um, lowercase c over sine c. Okay, so let's put in some stuff. Uh, b equals 12, sine b 150, length of c 7, and sine c, I don't know. I don't know what that angle is. Right, that's the thing I'm trying to find. So rearranging this is just a little more involved than rearranging it, because we've got to do sort of two steps here. We need this sine C to be on the top, right? Now, an easy way to do that is just to rewrite this equation that way. Just to bloop, flip both sides of it, right? Um, one half equals one half. If you flip both sides of a fraction, you get 2 equals 2. You get the same thing. So we can flip both sides of a fraction, no problem at all. It's very important you do this. You can't get C by itself while it's on the bottom of a fraction. So if you've got an unknown and it's sitting on the bottom of a fraction, you've got to get it to the top of the fraction. Okay, uh, this 7 is causing me an issue, so I can multiply both sides by 7. 7 sine 150 over 12, and that's equal to sine C. And then we need to get rid of this sign. And to get rid of a sign, you do inverse sign. So C is equal to inverse sign on your calculator, that's like shift sign. And then seven, sine 150 divided by 12. Okay, you can see it's kind of a bit ugly because like a sign nested within a sign, but you can type that directly into your calculator and you'll get an answer. All right, so that means that C is equal to 16.96 degrees, right? This is an angle. So what did I just find? Well, I just found this angle. But that's not the angle I wanted to find. I wanted to find theta. And theta is going to be equal to 180, which is the internal angles of a triangle, minus the one we started with, 150, minus 16.96 uh, theta. All right, calculator. And there is my answer, 13.04 degrees. 
Okay, you really want to make sure that you can sit down with your calculator and like make this happen, right? That's important. Um, you also want to be sure that you understand what's going on here, how you're selecting B and sign B and C and sign C. But apart from that, easy stuff. Okay, um, practice, practice. Oh, in part two, we're going to find out something wild.